In this video, we're going to take a look at the different shapes that you can do in SwiftUI, such as a circle, and how they differ from a stack, how you can apply a stroke, and work with the fill color and the overlay. Let's start with a simple label and add bold. Then, using a VStack, so I'm going to embed this in VStack, now I'm going to start using the first shape, which is the circle. If you do parentheses, it's going to take the maximum space. And you can see that it's stacking vertically. Now the difference between a stack and a shape is that the shape is going to take the maximum space and the stack is going to take the minimum space. Typically, you're going to use dot frame to set the size of it. So I'm going to set it to 44 using a height of 44. Another key difference is that you can use stroke on a shape, which allows you to create an outline of the shape itself. And if you want to customize the line width, you're going to have to set color dot black, comma, and then line width. Let's set it to two, for example. Similar to the shape, you can also use ellipse. And the difference between the two is that if you change the height to let's say 88, it's going to change the ratio of it. So it's no longer a perfect shape versus the circle itself. It's going to remain perfect and leave the remaining space empty. Let me change it back to 44. And now we're gonna take a look at the rectangle. In the past, we have been using the color, but we can also use the rectangle instead. So I'm gonna put this into a Z stack and use a rectangle. And because this is a shape, it's going to take the maximum space. Let me just change the color. And using a shape, you can either use a fill or you can use a foreground color as we've used before, but you cannot use a background color because it's a shape. So I'm gonna use fill color blue, and it's going to create my blue background. Of course, I can set to ignore save area, which allows me to take the full screen, including the notch and the home indicator spaces. And then there's a rounded rectangle. Right after text, I'm going to type rounded rectangle, parentheses. And uh, the rounded rectangle requires the values inside the parentheses. So you're gonna have to select the corner radius and style, or just the corner radius or the size and style. So I'm gonna use the corner radius in style and set it to 25 continuous using the smooth corners. And since it's taking a maximum space, I'm going to have to restrict the height in this case. So dot frame, height to 44. And voila, I have my button. Now I'm going to change the color and instead of using a fill color, I can also use foreground color instead and I'm gonna set this to color.green. If I wanna add text to a shape, I should be using overlay because the overlay is going to put on top of the elements. So here inside my overlay, just like how I would use the background, I'm going to set a text and I'm gonna put sign up. So the rounded corners, you can of course set it to less to be more like a rectangle or more which is going to look more like a capsule. But instead of doing this, you can also use the capsule itself and the code is gonna be a little bit simpler. You don't need to have these two values. So I can change all of this into capsule, the parentheses. So it's going to create my button with half circles on each side. I'm just gonna put it back to round a rectangle. Shapes are really good for clipping the content so this is very useful as a modifier. For example, in my V stack, I'm going to set to background color dot white. And let me set a little bit of padding. So padding parentheses before. The V stack is taking the size of its content. And if you have a shape such as this one that does not have a limiting width, it's going to push in term of width to your VStack. So it's going to take the full width of the screen. If you want to keep that full width, which is very adaptive against all screens, 
It's gonna be a little bit big on the iPad, but this is something we can do later on. You can always use another padding modifier to have a little bit of negative spacing on all sides. In SwiftUI, the way you structure your modifiers is very important. So for example, every time that you create a modifier, it creates a container, just like the same way you would create a VStack container. A padding becomes a container, and the background itself is a container, and then the padding is another container, which is why we have this multi-layer containers here. And if I want to set, let's say, the clip shape to have the corner radius on my container that is white, I must set it after the background modifier. So I'm going to set clip shape. And I can use any of these shapes, such as circle. But in this case, I'm going to use the rounded rectangle, parentheses, corner radius 25, and style continuous. And there you go. You have a super simple layout that takes the full width. And we're using multiple shapes here, such as the rectangle, the circle, and we're using the stroke value, the overlay on a capsule. So I hope you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.